and welcome to the final video for this project. So in this project we've gone from having no idea what we wanted to write aside from a contemporary romance between two adult characters to making that initial outline with ChatGPT to making scene beats, characters, locations, building our codex, building all the individual scene beats into our plan, and then having ChatGPT for Turbo within Novel Crafter write all of that book for us. So now I'm going to show you kind of the last steps before I start editing, and I don't edit in Novel Crafter, I actually edit in Docs. So for me, this is kind of my last wrap up for this book before it goes live on Kindle. So, or, you know, if your process is an agent or if your process is a publisher, whatever your process is, this will be the last time that potentially you're in Novel Crafter. I don't love Novel Crafter for editing just because it has a lot of the extra stuff in it and I want to really focus on my book and cutting away all the excess. So let me kind of show you what we're doing. We would then click export, which is right here. It's under the settings. And then that exports it into a doc that we can then use in whatever program we want. If you go to the right, You can see that the full whole novel that we did here is 160,000 words. That's a huge book. If you go to the review, which I really love this page because it'll show you, okay, here's, you know, your total word count. Here's your character distribution by scene. Are there a lot of characters? Are there not a lot of characters? You know, your average is three, so and then we have, you know, chapter nine, scene four is a little shorter. Chapter one, scene four is a little shorter. Maybe we need to take a look at those, but honestly, a huge chunk of this we're just going to cut because we don't need our book to be 160,000 words long. Most likely... I will be cutting at least 70k of what we pre made. So just keep that in mind as you're building this. If you follow the same kind of project format that I did for this novel, which is not the same way that I do every single book. This is just one way that I wanted to show you all. If you follow that same format, you will probably end up with a lot of words that you need to end up cutting because they just, they're redundant. It's a lot of extra stuff. It's a lot of she wakes up and, you know, one chapter where she wakes up in a chapter or in a book that has 19 chapters. Okay, that's fine. But if she's waking up 10 out of the 19 chapters and that's how the chapter starts, maybe that's an issue. So just keep that in mind. We're not in love with all of these words. We didn't create them, so we don't have to agonize over cutting them. You know, if your final book is 60,000 words of absolute wonderfulness that you completely love and it's the book that you want, then that's okay. With ChatGPT4 Turbo and with Novel Crafter and Open Router, we've maybe spent eight bucks having it do everything. And that's all the pros. That's all 160,000 words. That's all of the outline, the scene beats, the characters, the location. That's everything. So it's really not bad to create something huge and definitely don't be afraid to cut this way down. Another thing that I wanted to show you here is that if you go here, you can see all of the times that she appears. So she has 206, she has 2,600 mentions. She is a main character. Jack, also a main character. Lily, less of a main character. She's a little side character. Michael, eh, he shows up four times. 
You know, maybe we don't actually need him. Maybe he can be replaced with a character that we see more often and can build a connection with. Rachel? Hmm. Maybe we keep her. Maybe we don't. And with somebody like Sarah, yeah, we're going to keep her. She's in for 402 times. The dandelion field? Apparently we never used it. We don't have to worry about it. So this is another really handy thing. But let's go to chat. I'm going to show you kind of the last few wrap-up things. So I've already done the sum of it, but I'm going to show you it from scratch. We already had an outline when we started, but if you want an outline now that we're done, great. Or if you don't want to dig through all of this. Okay, and it'll give you a nice outline and some publishers require outlines. There you go. You have it. Chat gave it to you perfectly. And then, as you can tell, we are still using ChatGPT4 Turbo. It's what we've used from the very first moment that we started this book. And maybe you want to move around and play with different AIs. That's okay. I wanted to show you consistently with one AI. In future projects, I'll show you how I move around, bump around, and play with the different ones because they do have different ways that they are really good. You know, GPT is pretty good all around, so I like showing that one first. So now that we have that outline, that's a blurb. And if you want to do these in multiple ones where you're like, hey, can I get a blurb and an outline? That's okay. Notice it gave it a title. I don't love this title. This is not the title I'm keeping. But because we're not paying per message, we're paying per output, like per characters, basically. We don't have to crunch it all into one little output. So I like having it separate where it's like, here's my blurb, here's my blurb, there's my outline, there's why I asked for an outline. So this is all pretty standard stuff, you know, even if you self-publish like I do, because I no longer am interested in being with publishers, I've done that for years, I'm really loving the... Kind of the freedom of being on Kindle Unlimited and being with Amazon, as scary as it is to have all of my books in one big Amazon basket, but I'm enjoying it. If you're with publishers, that's great. You're probably going to need a synopsis. You'll probably need to come up with your own draft blurb. You'll probably need your own outline. So another thing that I wanted to show you. So on Amazon, we need tags. TikTok, if you're going to make videos, you'll need tags. Facebook Reels, you'll need tags. What kind of tags can we use here? So don't just think that it's only going to give you, you know, the basics of like the outline and things like that. It'll help you with marketing too. Yeah. And then I'll tell you kind of basically, you know, a few little keywords. Maybe you want to know 
what is my target reading group? Maybe you want to know your target readers, and that's okay. All of this is very helpful for you know, getting an idea of how to market your book. So don't just stop at just the book because there's a whole lot else that you can do in this same chat window for this same novel. And then say so you're like, oh my gosh, I love these characters. This was so much fun. What could happen? in a sequel. I do like the whole tree theme that has going on with the roots and the branching out. But hey, you've already got ideas here. You know, and if you wanted to do a sequel, you could easily just say, hey, I like this idea. You know, it's basically giving an outline as it is. And then you would just ask for the same detailed outline with the scene beats, and then you get the scene beats for every chapter, set it up exact same way. You're going to make a brand new novel. So hopefully this series has been fun. All in all, if you sat down and did it from start to finish of I have no idea what I'm doing to this, where you're wrapping it up and getting those last minute things like the blurb and the synopsis and, you know, kind of the wrap up things, probably looking at about seven hours. So if you sat down and did it consistently and was like, this is what I'm doing today. You could easily knock out a 160k novel with just Novel Crafter and ChatGPT for Turbo. So at that point, what's next for this book is I'm going to export it. I'm going to sit down and do a read through, make some notes. I like to use a pad of paper. If you want to have a second document open so that you can put in notes that's okay too whatever works for you when i didn't write any of this i like going through it and looking at it as a reader as the first time where i'm like okay this is really, really jarring i hated this part this part can go i don't even need this chapter this character doesn't need to be here all of those things write them down and then from there once you do that big cut and you just start getting rid of those big chunks of words, and then you can go back through and start fine tuning and fine combing and making sure that what you're left with is something that you're really happy with. It may only very basically resemble this novel that you built in Novel Crafter because of all the edits that you end up doing. But for me, this part and doing it in that process is so much easier and so much faster because even if I do say this in a day and then I take a day to do each set of edits, you know, that's a novel in a week. And that's, you know, say I kept 120K. I do not plan on keeping 120K of these words, but say you kept 120K. You, know, you made a 120K novel in a week and you did, you know, six days of edits. So every part of it will have your touch on it. Even though you didn't create the prose, you still edited it. It still is yours. It's still your book. So hopefully 
you know, you learned something. Hopefully you had fun with this. Hopefully it, this series inspired you to go out and do your next novel in Novel Crafter and play with the AIs and learn and have fun with it. It's, it is a lot of fun and it's not hard. And yeah, just jump right in. You'll learn as you go. But Novel Crafter is pretty user friendly. And you know, watch the tips. And I hope you'll stick around for the next video where we'll take another AI tool and we'll build another book. Thanks for watching.